Hello again, welcome to part 3.3. This is the last entry in um, part 3, which is basic loops, defining objects, and understanding logic. What we're going to do in this is breaking out of loops and continuing loops based on a certain expression. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this constant loop. As I said, this was very bad practice unless you were breaking out of it. So I've just copied that. Uh, we'll move it down here. Okay, we'll delete that and put it in that place. Okay, now what we want to do is we're going to <coughs> we're just going to constantly loop it asking for the first name until the end of Rudy. Okay, so we'll shift all this code down here and put this in the while loop. Okay. <coughs> so obviously you could just do while first name, we could put it in here, while first name is not equal to Rudy, keep showing it. Okay, so we'll just put we'll just change this to please enter. Uh, Rudy. Okay. So we could put it in there, but for the purpose of this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you the break and continue keywords. So this is going to be a constant loop. Uh, what we're going to do now is put an if statement. So we're using all what we've learned before, reading lines, uh, if statements, basic logic, etc. Uh, so we'll put if first name equals Rudy, then we break out of the loop breaks a special keyword, it will stop the loop from continuing basically. So that's what we want to do. When they finally entered Rudy, it will break out of the loop. Okay. Uh, now, what I also wanted to show you was continue. So I'll demonstrate this and we'll put it under here. Okay. What we'll do, because this will keep looping and it won't run anything under here, so what we'll do is we'll just put thank you, okay, because they've entered Rudy, so we'll say thank you, no problem. Now what I'm going to do is, with this code, the for code, I'm going to put, when when i is equal to 2, it won't, it won't display, so the number 2 will not display, so it'll go not 1, 2, sorry, not 1, 3, 4, can't count, not 1, 3, 4, okay, so we'll put if i is equal to 2, continue, okay, so continue stops the loop running at this point, so it will not run any code after that keyword uh, based on that specific expression. Okay, uh, that's it for tutorial part 3 of 3. I'll look out for you in part 4, which is going more in depth and it will contain reflection, which is pretty much importing native functions, uh, etc. So we're getting a bit more complex now, so definitely now is the time if you still don't understand the basic stuff as outlined in these past videos, um, comment or message me. Okay, thank you for watching again. Uh, see you in part four.